is this? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Isabella. And I'm back with another video. Please comment down below. Please subscribe. Please like. Bonane. Do what you gotta do to support the girl. Uh, I'm not as in today, but I'm just gonna get right into today's video. Today's topic is gonna be how to know if he is a player. And this is all based on my own personal experiences, guys. I've been dating. I'm not saying to no kinna doctor love. I'm just giving you my own personal experiences based on how I saw Njolo and how Njolo dribbled me. Speaking of dribbling, please go and view one of my previous videos on how I was dribbled by a soccer player. Please go and check it out. Let's just get right into the video. When dating, a lot of guys have a way of hiding their intentions, right? And this guy would be like, no, Kishapka, anything. I'm cool with anything. It's all good as long as we're not Roba Laboshihu and you sleep fine. It doesn't really matter if we put a title to it or not. So stay tuned for some more. I can't say tea, ne? Because as I'm not a tea person. So stay tuned for some more percentages. I'ma plug you. So I'm just gonna give tips, ne? I do hope that guys do learn that now we are very woke as ladies and we can see these things. It's just that you're dribbling us too hard or you're lying too hard for us to ever see them or we'll only see them maybe perhaps when we leave the relationship. And for girls, I hope you can learn this so that you can actually see a player when he is right in your face, when he is staring you in your face. Because I'm going to be played and I'm going to be dribbled, right? You could be dating a guy who has no intention of ever building with you. My advice to ladies is, before I get into the tips, go with your gut. until you smell it. Idupelel until you smell it because if you don't go with your gut, you, you're gonna be like, Mara, I should have, Mara, I should have, and I knew, Mara, I didn't listen to my gut, I didn't listen to my intuition. Another thing is red flags pretenders, liars, cheaters, men are trash. If men are trash was a person, these kind of people have a way of exposing themselves in a way. And actually, he is just showing you the real him. So such red flags. When a red flag is staring you in the eye, mda say, kijima. Kijima, because if you don't, you're gonna get played. Another thing I think my video will do is it will show you the difference in between a boy and a man a man dates to develop something to build something to invest in his queen a boy wants to play soccer rugby tennis just to play with you so tip number one he is a man how to know if he's a player he's a man what do i mean by this is two kinds of men it's either kistoko or kiskobinki kistoko or kiskobinki if you know he's hot there's 90 there's, if he's hot there's 90 percent of chances it's if he's hot there's a 90 percent chance that he's a player right because he enjoys having women throw themselves at him he enjoys having his inbox full people text him oh my gosh this and this and that he has women at his disposal if he lori there are many cows here that you can milk why not milk them are you just gonna look at the cows why should you buy a cow if you have milk delivered to your door every day so why should you invest in one woman build with one woman if when nah, you have other women throw you with compliments hence i'm saying if he's hot there's a 90 percent chance that he is a player let's get to Buskobinki. so skobinki has a car he has a house he has the money he has everything and i'm not saying that a hot guy wouldn't but what are the chances that when nah, you're the only one we learn Rujigara, the passenger seat of that car right what are the chances that you're not being played? Mm, what is this? Hey, hey, not going to lawyer. So, what are the chances that he is loyal to you? Yeah, not go being giwawali everything. Point number two is he's a flirt, and not a flirt with you. He doesn't just flirt with you, but he flirts with all women. So you need to watch how he behaves around other women. So my question to you is: Is he flirting with you because it's genuine? Or because of what he can benefit for me honestly i think it's normal for us as human beings to be attracted to other people right even though you're in a relationship you can just see good matter no that guy that guy that guy he's flames mara i'm in a relationship or whatever right when are you gonna be with mutoy luring 
he's everywhere doing everything with everyone so you need to check when he's around you what does he do how does he behave or better the work club or liberty to an affair or come on kick s come on kick s come on kick s come on kick s another point is he is all talk and no action Pilar no kya orata, baby um popu pompi shapilo ya kadi danon. Hey hey, I want you to meet my mother, but you never even actually get to meet the mother. He doesn't even show you that he likes you that much, or he doesn't even show you that pompi shapilo ya hadi danon. Bona, he'd be like, no, you're my air. I can't breathe when I'm around you. This and this and that and that. All talk. Bona ne, he is the man duly of relationships. He's always talking, 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 talk. Yada 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 yada, but no action. Point number four. My advice to you is check his posts. What he says in those posts, he's gonna give hints of his relationships in one of his posts. And sometimes you can find who don't know you're in a relationship with this person, Mara, he's hinting to other people that he's single. Again, you need to check if he posts you or not. In one of my previous relationships, right, this guy was posting me left, right, and center until I recently found out because you know he was playing me. He actually has a main check. And when I was posting, he was perhaps changing the settings changing the settings so i can be the only one who can see them make sure that he's posting you and everyone can see that if he's posting you on facebook at least it's better because it's open to the public eye but if he's posting you on whatsapp stay woke stay woke another thing about social media is you can be everywhere on his social media platforms and everyone can know about you but he can still hold on the side when i start tv just stay woke or else hey point number five he doesn't state his intentions ne? if somebody likes you get it come sun or rain it doesn't matter if somebody likes you and he really does he'll shoot his shot regardless of whatever if he really 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 likes you he will show you if a guy is saying i like you but i'm not ready for commitment i like you but i'm not ready for a relationship i like you but i still need to heal i like you but i'm going through some stuff and i still want to see what what i like you but this i like you but that i like you but i like you marab you understand read between the lines he's showing you he doesn't want to state his intentions he doesn't want to put a name to it he doesn't want to put a title to it believe him or else number six is he goes for six straight away this is a person we luring muna he invites you to his place on the first day. Kibo baby in cap rota la ma faster. Jiki jiki li 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 du jumo di sofeng li within kamera toki di love. All of a sudden, conveniently, when you're making out, there's just a condom under his pillow of the couch. Not even kahodi mo hawa drop karumu. Not even as far. It's right there, conveniently stashed right where he knew you will be. You can see his only intention is to eat. Bam bam. Thank you, ma'am. Waja waja. Shoot, casta semenya jiggy jiggy. The whole kingdom scatters. See that Igwe himself runs away. Another red flag is somebody who can't wait a few days when you say you're not ready to smash. He's just convincing, convincing, convincing. What about again a lawyer trying to convince the judge who somebody didn't commit a crime? Red flag. It's a flag. Red flag. Mara, do you understand me? It's a red flag. Another point is if the gent or if the guy wants to keep things private. No, I'm a private person. No, ask it like a little jaka. No, this, no, that. All these excuses. Know the difference in between privacy and a secret. Privacy is when everybody knows your business and knows, oh, no, they together and everything. But your things, your shenanigans, really shout out, re, bon, ne, can't long, re, go, shubile, le, but, hanaga, di, poto. Nobody knows about that. People just know you're together. And then being kept a secret. Guys, I can't sing, but what I'm trying to say is this is when somebody just does not want anybody at all to know about you two. So if anybody ever wants to keep you a secret, run, just run, scatter, run, don't look back. Another thing is whether you know his friends, 
you've met his mother, his uncle, his friend, his dog, his neighbor. Doesn't matter. If a dent does not have good intentions, he doesn't. You can meet his whole squad. You can meet his whole family. You can meet anybody and everybody who's relevant in his life and still get played. Another point is he forgets the little details you tell him. He forgets the little details in your life. I'm 20. How old are you? so he forgets the little details in your life if somebody genuinely genuinely likes you and if he genuinely genuinely cares about you he's never gonna forget the smallest thing look at your favorite color is pink much 20 years later with a guy who forgets the smaller details in your life he's gonna care enough for you to like him and he's gonna show you and he's gonna try hard enough for you to like him but he's not gonna try hard enough for you to love him and how you'll know this is he will forget the smaller details that you tell him so Aretz <sighs> another point is if he engages in suspicious behavior if he puts his phone on flight mode if he puts his phone on flight mode in your presence ask yourself why it's not because but uh, uh, the fly machine bomb energy or what no that fly machine he's putting it there because he knows what he's ignoring he knows he's busy he's busy like maraba start he's busy like joe Beck's small street with a guy who's always secretive about his phone I'm not saying in each and every relationship, Tina, we must just always go through each other's phones because that obviously shows that we don't trust one another. I could need for us to be going through one another's phones. But when you're around me, you don't have to act as if there's something you're hiding on your phone or you're hiding your phone or whenever you get a message, you just don't check your messages because it's as if you're hiding something on your phone. Why does he have to stand up to go and answer the call gun? Why can't he answer them in your presence? Why are you so secretive? What are you hiding? Point number 11. Today he's hot, tomorrow he's cold. Mama Kha, get our um how many kids are we gonna have in future yo baby look at this house you guys are even scrolling looking at houses jiggy jiggy hey i wanna have this car in future one and i want i'm within right then tomorrow he's too busy no i'm too busy why are you nagging me why are you calling me why are you texting me jiggy jiggy he doesn't even send you a good morning text or he does he just goes missing the whole day if he goes missing the whole day it's better some went missing for weekends and if you see such red flags full time run baleka just move because you don't need an inconsistent person in your life He's as hot as coffee. He's as cold as those, that alcohol that was in the fridge at tops. Another thing about guys is a player is going to want to make all the decisions for you. And this is the difference in between a player and a guy who really likes you. A guy who really likes you will always try and find common ground, try and compromise and try and meet you halfway whenever things are like this. And he's like, no, but let's do them like this. Is it convenient for you or not? And then a player is more self-centered, only cares about them and only cares about carrying through their mission. He's always selfish and he always tries to make everything about him. And he only cares when things are convenient for him or when things are fine for him, but never cares if they are convenient or fine for you. A lot of women will say, no, I like somebody who's controlling. I like somebody who does things his way. Sometimes you just need to face reality and see because no matter this person is self-centered This person always does things for him. Why can't it be about you? And as much as somebody can be controlling He also needs to be caring or he also needs to be considerate and considerate of you and considerate of what you want and considerate of How you want things to be done Another sign as well could be that this guy always just wants to do indoors. No, I'm an indoor person. I'm not, I'm an introvert. I'm not an extrovert. I don't like going out. But let's just stay in Netflix and chill and be indoors, cuddle movies. Why should a guy go out and go on dates and do this and do that with you in public when whatever he wants from that relationship could be done at your place, at his place, or at a lodge? Or at a hotel? Or anywhere besides in the public space where people in public might actually see him or spot him and see that he's in a relationship with you so if a guy does not want to go out with you into a public setting it's either he is avoiding being seen with you he is perhaps busy with someone else so that should be another red flag 
I'm not saying that all men are players. And I'm not saying by Dalangat. And I'm not saying this and I'm not saying that. But I'm saying if you see, if you happen to see any of these red flags, I'm not saying run or leave him or do this. Stay woke. See if there are any other red flags as to might this guy be a player. Stick around in Yan and try and understand who didn't hang more. And then you can decide as to whether you want to leave or not. And I'm sure many ladies would be smart after this video because Dr. Love has spoken. <laughs> Anyway, so guys, I really hope you guys learned a lot from the video because I don't want us to get dribbled. I don't want Mjolo to miss us. I want us to all be wise. But anyway, guys, this is all based on my own personal experiences. I'm not saying I am a Dr. Love or I am Minister of um, Love Affairs or I know so much about relationships. This is all based on my personal experiences and I do hope that you guys can relate to it. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please comment down below on what you think and any other tips that you have that could show that a guy is a player. And gents, please give us tips. What do you think? How can we spot players? I've only been on YouTube for like three weeks to a month, not even a month. And I'm already close to 1,000 subscribers. I probably need 20, I'm not sure. But what I'm trying to say is, guys, thank you so much for the support. I wouldn't have done this all without you. It's not even been a month and I'm already getting such tremendous support thank you guys so much if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe down help grow the family to everybody who has subscribed to my ogs and my bloods who've been subscribing and have been supporting me shout out to you guys you guys are good you guys are amazing so in today's video i don't know if you guys noticed i am not within i'm not within guys i'm trying to just abstain and stay away from bad things and bad energy i'm trying to be a good girl i'm kidding guys Thank you so much for staying tuned. See you guys on my next video. Please follow me on Twitter and please follow me on Instagram because I'm pretty. <laughs> guys, now nah, nah, I think I, I carve myself. I Self-love, guys. <laughs> Peace. See you guys soon. See you guys soon. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>